All right, good evening, good evening. All right, guys, we're gonna get we're gonna get started. It is 6:01. I just want to make sure we're honoring everybody's time. So before we begin, so this message is for our students. Uh, two things: one, the students uh, are right now they don't know which either award they received or scholarship. So for most of them, it's a surprise today. Uh, students, when you come up, I'm gonna ask you to walk to your left up on the stage here, uh, you will be awarded the certificate, um, and then you'll be taking a picture with the, uh, the donor, or if we have a staff member here who are, is get, kind of given that award. All right, you guys are good? All right. So again, good evening and welcome to Pemberton Township High School's 56th Annual Senior Awards Night and Scholarship, where we are honoring our distinguished and resilient seniors of the class of 2022. Uh, tonight, we are pleased to present and recognize our Pemberton Township High School seniors with academic awards, scholarships, and other accolades. We are so proud of our seniors and all that they have accomplished over the past four years. I know that this is kind of a, a precursor to graduation. Just a reminder, graduation is on Jan uh, January. <laughs> I rewind the time. It is on June 21st. I know, listen, the seniors like now, we know the date. June 21st at 6 p.m. I know it's a little warm in here, so kind of bear with us. Um, the one thing for us, I know tonight for me, is to practice names. So I apologize in advance if I mess up a name. It's not intentionally. I'm going to make sure I do my best to get it correct. Uh, but that being said, we're going to get the program started. Um, we will begin by calling up our superintendent to the stage where he will be giving out the first award, the superintendent's award. All right, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out and bearing with us with the, uh, the lack of air conditioning. We have two systems, one system's work and one system is not. Um, with that said, I want to get started, and I want to call it Maddie McGreevy. I'm, I'm looking for Maddie. This was top secret. I didn't put her name on the card. Um, I did put her name on the check, though. Um, but I, I wanted to have Maddie up here because uh, I, I want to say, Maddie, when I was thinking about this, um, and I was thinking about it even more when I was driving over, uh, there's a quote, and I think it's an anonymous quote. And that quote is, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. And when I think of you, you always choose to make it a great day. You, you choose to take responsibility, take on extra responsibility to help others, to do for others. You take on extra classes and extra work. You're willing to have the, you take on, you make the choice to, to persevere for delayed gratification. Uh, you make the choice every day to be positive, to be a fountain of positivity. And I know for me, I, I am going to miss you because uh, you've been an inspiration to me. And you make me want to do better. You make me want to be better. And I want to thank you for that. And I have a certificate here and a check for 500. And I know you're going to put it to good use. So thank you very much and congratulations. All right, guys, the, the next two awards, so let me, let me just go back and say this. Some of the awards, uh, many of the awards and scholarships actually have a live check on it. So what I'm asking students is be mindful of that. Parents, you probably want to catch them in uh, before they leave to grab that check. Um, and then some of you, uh, there, there will be a check ready for you tomorrow so some of some of the academic awards there is a check a smaller check uh, but again we'll send that information out to you so the next award um, I'm proud to announce the principal's award so as the principal I get to select typically I select one student uh, for this award and usually I'm looking for students who have made a positive impact 
um, at the high school over the four years. And this year was challenging because of the fact that, uh, you know, last year many of our students were virtual. Uh, the, the, the year before that, you know, we, the pandemic hit. Uh, so it was challenging, but then as, as I continue to think about our students, um, our four core values of uh, perseverance and empathy, uh, integrity and gratitude, uh, there was two that came to mind. Um, so the first one, I'm gonna call up to the stage, uh, Cassandra Glapian. And the second uh, principal's award goes to Eliza Pepito. While we take the picture, the presenter for the Lincoln Financial Scholarship, uh, you could begin to come up. All right, the, the next scholarship uh, is the Lincoln Financial Scholarship. Uh, each year we honor our class of valedictorian and salutor, a salutatorian for excelling in their academics while at PTHS. Uh, so the salutatorian, congratulations, it goes to Yaron Saul <laughs> with a 5.05 GPA and our valedictorian uh, Leo Yang. The, the next awards, um, the PTEA Engineering Scholarship in honor of Paul Shermer. All right, th this is on behalf of the Permanent Township Education Association. Uh, they would like to congratulate uh, this student f with a scholarship for engineering uh, the Pemberton Township Education Association represents teachers, maintenance, cooks, custodians, aides, security, child study team members, guidance counselors, secretaries, and nurses. Uh, congratulations to Michael Newells. And I'm going to ask Michael to stand right up there. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yep, we right up here. Thank you. Thank you. Another group. Uh, Mr. Emmons, give me a second. There's a, there's a slew of them. I'll call them together, all the PTEA ones. Uh, the next scholarship recipient is for the PTEA Fine and Performing Arts Scholarship. Uh, and congratulations, this scholarship goes to Robert Gaskell. The PTEA Mary Ellen DeLuca Memorial Nursing Scholarship goes to Malaysia Glover. The PTEA Secretarial and Business Management Scholarship goes to Cameron Downs. The PTEA Son Daughter of an Employee Scholarship goes to Cameron Grover. The 
The PTEA Teaching Awards Scholarship goes to Madeline McGreevy. The PTEA Minority Recruitment and Involvement Committee Scholarship goes to four students, so I'm going to call them in order. Uh, congratulations to uh, Morgan Knight. Congratulations to Kayla Pankey. Congratulations to Eliza Pepito. And finally, congratulations to Liam Phillips. All right, again, those are all the PTEA scholarships. We are thankful for their contribution. All right, congratulations. Again, what I'm going to ask those students, please make sure you read the, the letter because it does say the things that you need to do to, uh, to receive the actual scholarship in the check. Uh, the next uh, uh, set of scholarships will be presented uh, by Mr. Doyle. It's going to be for the Rotary Club of Permanent Township Scholarships. I have the pleasure and honor tonight to give out five scholarships for the Pemberton Rotary Club. We have been committed to the contribution for decades. It's 37 years of scholarships going out from Pemberton Rotary Club. And we have given out more than $277,500 in scholarships to Pemberton students. We are confident that the students that we will be uh, presenting to tonight will continue their education and represent Pemberton very proudly. The following two students have decided to pursue their education at a local community, community college. They have been selected to receive a $1,000 scholarship. Cameron Gro Grover, Talia Thurman. The following three students have decided to pursue their education at a four-year institution. They have been selected to receive a $2,500 scholarship. They, they are Cameron Downs, Michael Knowles, Madeline McGreevy.
At this time, we're calling up the representative to uh, give out the uh, Hall of Fame scholarship. Okay, good evening. Uh, my name is Diane Emerson. I was a teacher here at Pemberton Township High School for many years, and I also went to high school, not in this building, but in the other building, and I'm the class of 73. I'm a member of the Hall of Fame. We are a group of individuals, alumni, who got together and decided we want, wanted to support you and help some of our seniors on their way. And a little background on that. We were created in 1996. Its mission was to provide, or is to provide, positive image for the community and its neighbors. Members are nominated and, and inducted into, hall, into the Hall of Fame. We are several hundred members strong and have awarded over $100,000 in scholarships over the past 26 years. Thank you to all the students that came out and filled out those applications. Um, they can be arduous, I do know. Um, we usually have in-person interviews, which are so special to all of us on the committee, because it really gives us a chance to meet you and hear about your life and your future goals. So hopefully next year we'll be able to do that. Thank you to all the students. Of course, I just said that. I wanted to thank the guidance counselor, uh, Rory, Schwammer for all her help in uh, getting the information of the scholarships to the students. And at this point, I would like to say congratulations to Kajiana Farrell. Robert Gaskell. And Madison Lacey. Um, Madison, oh, I'm not, you're not Madison, this is, yeah, I'm sorry, oh, this, that's why we didn't, we didn't meet them, so we don't know. Um, Kajana, where is she plans to attend the University of New Haven, where she will study finance. Her dream is to start a nonprofit that will help underprivileged individuals with managing their finances. Very, very good, very good. And Kajana receives a $3,000 scholarship. Uh, like the uh, principal was telling you, it, it doesn't all come in one big check. It's, some come in parts, so you'll get half after you show us your schedule, and then ha the other half after you show us how you did the, the point in school, okay? And come over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Hi, Robert. Fellow, fellow art, art person. I was the art teacher. So awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, Robert plans to attend Montclair State University and pursue a career in design and graphic arts and possibly a career in teaching. Good. Robert has shared his talent all through his high school years by designing logos, t-shirts, and working on many other artistic projects. I'm sure they made good use of you while you were here. Very good. All righty, congratulations, Robert. Madison. Okay, this is Madison, and Madison plans to attend Caldwell University to pr pursue a teaching career. Thanks to all the teachers who inspired her while she attended Pemberton High School. She wrote that very clearly in her application. And as we all know, there is a great need for teachers, very much so, so thank you for pursuing a career in teaching. And congratulations, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, All right, congratulations again. Thank you. All right, the next three scholarships, we'll call them um, at this time, 
the two scholars, this first scholarship is from the Burlington County Association of School Business Official. Uh, and this scholarship goes to uh, Lorenzo Johnson. The Burlington County Association of School Administrators Scholarship goes to Leilani Johnson. And then finally, the Burlington County School Counselors Association I Care Award and Scholarship goes to Liam Phillips. At this time, I'm calling up Ms. Uh, Jenkins to the stage to give out the scholarship for the Leading Ladies of Central Office Scholarship. Good evening, everyone. I have the pleasure of awarding the Leading Ladies of Central Office Scholarship on behalf of my colleagues, Assistant Superintendent Adelina Gianetti, Assistant Director of Early Childhood, Deb Seplo, Assistant Director of Special Services, Christine Hale, Chief Academic Officer, Ida Smith, and myself, Rita Jenkins, Assistant Director of School Counseling and Health Services. The recipient of this $500 scholarship is presented to Jessica Ladarchek. <laughs> Jessica was selected for her dedication to helping the community and giving back to her school. Jessica is one of our members in the Medical Arts Academy and she also interned with the school nurses. Congratulations, Jessica. All right, congratulations. The next two awards that we'll call up in scholarships, um, the Permanent Township Professional Administrators Association Scholarship goes to two students, uh, Anissa Brandon and Abigail Helm. The Pemberton Township School Security Scholarship goes to Evan Shag. At this time, I'm going to call to the stage a representative for the Philip I. Spakowski Memorial Scholarship. Hello and good evening. My name is uh, Patrick Moore and I am the president of, of uh, Roll of Thunder Chapter 2 New Jersey. Um, we meet at, in the Lacey Community Center. We are a nonprofit organization which uh, volunteers a lot of time to raise money to uh, give directly to a veteran in need and or their family as well as scholarships. Um, we're also committed in, in uh, publicizing and educating about the POW MIA issues, prisoners of war and missing in action, and also the 22, 22 today uh, soldiers, both active and retired, uh, 
committing suicide due to post-traumatic stress. So uh, we're here, we're honored to be here, and um, I'll have Amy's the chairperson, Amy Moore's chairperson for the scholarships, and she'll explain about the criteria for the, for the award tonight. Well, the criteria for the award is to be a son or daughter of an active or a retired veteran. Um, and this scholarship is in the name of Philip Spikowski who, Spikowski, who was a graduate of Pemberton Township High School. He was killed uh, May 14, 2004, during Operation Iraqi Freedom. And the winner for this $1,000 scholarship is Elijah Garland. Yeah, we'll go down there. Congratulations. At this time, we're calling to the stage representative from the Lockheed Martin Military Youth Scholarship with Impact Charity. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Good evening, all. It is our pleasure to have as our mission at Impact Charity Services the support of children and families throughout the Delaware Valley through offering a constellation of supportive programs. I'm here this evening for three reasons. First, to award to one of our students showing exceptional academic and character the opportunity to be recognized for further education through the, the generous offerings of our donor, Lockheed Martin. This award is offered at the level of $5,500. We are very pleased this evening to ask to the stage Kiara Bernard. I have to keep Kiara captive just for a moment here because the second reason I'm here is to share with you that this year our selection committee made an unprecedented decision and that was in reviewing Pemberton's applications to offer a second scholarship again at the $5,500 level to David Israel. <laughs> Our scholarship awardees must to be a son or daughter of um, an adult who is in active military service at the base. But this evening, my third reason for being here is to ask you to recognize all those with active or veteran service to our country by having those individuals please rise and let's give them a hand. Stand up, folks. Look around. Thank you all. And while they're taking the photo, we're going to ask the representative for the U.S. Army Warrant Officer Association Scholarship to please come to uh, the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chief Warrant Officer for Nicole Sprasser. On behalf of the Fort Dix 
Warrant Officer Association, I am pleased to present our scholarship to Ms. Madeline McGreevy. I would like to share. Our scholarship was available for members of uh, children of active duty military as well. I would like to share with you one thing in Ms. McGreevy's essay that stood out to me, if that's okay with you. So Ms. McGreevy wrote that she would like to end her essay with, they say military children are like dandelions. They can put down roots almost anywhere, but they are impossible to destroy. So that was a very well-written essay. We're very pleased to honor you with this. All right, congratulations again. All right, this next, uh, don't go too far, Maddie. This next group of scholarships is for the American Legion Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship is awarded to students that, are, that show dedication to their community, as well as being a member of either the JROTC, attended girls or boys states, or are a military dependent or descendant of a military service member. So there's three, uh, Madeline McGreevy, Jabari Mangum and David Israel. Mr. Edmonds, give me one second. I'm going to call one more up for this batch of photos. Uh, this next recipient is for the RCBC Academic Excellence Award Scholarship. Uh, and this is to recognize a student that falls within the top 25% of the graduating class. This scholarship and award uh, for uh, tuition free for one academic year at RCBC goes to Armida Black. While they're finalizing their photos, I'm going to ask uh, the representative from the Richard G. Gober Sunbury Village Scholarship to come up to the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to see there were so many short speeches because I have a little bit more to say. Uh, I've been, I live in Ventnor, New Jersey, been involved in Pemberton Township for 53 years as an investor and a realtor. I'm very proud to say the opportunity to speak to the youth today. Uh, this is our 36th year of this um, scholarship, um, especially the amazing thing about it, it's not a super amazing scholarship. It's designed for originally $3,000, $1,500 a year for one student to go to Burlington County College. I, Unfortunately, struggle a little bit with the word Rowan. It's a great school, but I was a little disappointed about them leaving Pemberton Township. Uh, I always remember when I was a realtor in town, I used to hear rumors about Pemberton Township High School. And I didn't know anybody, but I would hear things that people would say that the teachers weren't involved and so forth. But about 15 or 20 years ago, I finally found out that I could come here and make this presentation. And I'll never forget as long as I live standing, sitting right down in that first row, and there was a teacher that ran down the stairway, ran up here, and came up here, and she just bragged about how great Permanent Township High School was, how great she loved to teach here, and there was one student in particular that was really a motivator for her, and she would sometimes get up in the morning and not feel well, but that student was the one that inspired her to come to work that day. Now, I learned a lesson, you know, that was being very unfair of me to judge Pemberton Township High School. And that's kind of amazing about Sunbury Village. We've all heard the Sunbury Village stories over the years. 
And the amazing thing about it is 97% of the people that live in Sunbury Village are good, decent, honest, hardworking people. Thank you, thank you. They are, they're there because it's affordable housing and that's work for them. If they could afford $2,000 a month, they would probably be living somewhere else. But unfortunately, there is that 3%. They're not the good, honest, hardworking people. And they're the people that get an area reputation. They live in Browns Mills. They live in Country Lakes and Mount Holly and Burlington. They live everywhere. But when you have a small community, that's kind of what happens. Uh, I always remember a couple years ago when I was here, Mrs. Brewer used to say to me, Mr. Gober, you can leave. When you get done speaking, you don't have to stay. And I loved sitting here and watching this. And as I was walking out one day, this one young lady walked up to me and said, Mr. Gober, excuse me, can I speak to you for a moment? And I said, of course. And she said, Mr. Gober, you gave the scholarship to my daughter. And my husband and I really appreciate that. It's really helping make things work better for us. And so I wished them luck. They took my picture with her. And I started to walk away. And she said, Mr. Gober, wait a minute. Wait one moment. I forgot to tell you, you gave me this scholarship 20 years ago. And I became a CPA out of McGuire Air Force Base. And she said, you know, Mr. Gober, I still live in Sunbury Village. So it was a wonderful, that made up my mind, regardless of how long I live, the scholarship will continue forever. A couple things, thank you very much. Uh, a couple things that I always love to have the opportunity. Uh, normally I say excuse my back because the students are up here, but I have a chance to talk to them out in the audience today. And one of the things that, uh, that I love to say is that you only go around one time and there are no dress rehearsals in life. So enjoy your life. I just want to share my little Richard Gober super duper rules of life. And the most important thing is have a strong family value system because it's where it all starts and ends. And the families are here today to support the, the people that are getting these scholarships. So that's fantastic. The second thing is have a good work ethic, young ladies and gentlemen, because if you do, you will be light years ahead of other people that don't have that good work ethic. Number three, allow yourself to have a passion for something. You deserve it. It might be that you're a sewer, you writer, you reader, you go fishing, whatever it may be, enjoy that. And the fourth thing is, allow yourself to have nostalgia. Let that be part of your life. Maybe someday you will sit back and say, you remember that old man that was up on the stage with a beard and a ponytail 20 years ago? And well, what happens is you're already sharing those moments between yourselves, but as you get older and more, almost the very end, the next thing is do not ever allow hate to be part of your life. It is a wasted emotion. The person that you hate, thank you. The person that you hate doesn't care and doesn't even know. And last but not least, the, the item that I want to say is my mother, born in Montegrano, Italy, taught me as a young boy, and that is if you treat people the way you expect to be treated, you will live a better life. Having said that, I would like to invite uh, what had happened. Some things have happened, changed with the scholarships where some students become eligible for a little bit more of the tuition. So uh, Ms. Schremer helped me set this up where it's $1,500 for two students to help them with their books and laptop and anything like that. So I'd like to invite up to the stage Amaliki Johnson and Charlene, Charlene Sanchez Farias. I'm going to call to the stage the representatives for the Philan E. Smith Music Scholarship and Dennis Clay Memorial Scholarship. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll read off the two scholarships. Uh, the Philan E. Smith Music Scholarship is given in memory of Philan E. Smith. Uh, this award is to a student who's pursuing a degree in music. Uh, this award goes to Kyla Thomas. The Dennis Clay Memorial Scholarship is given to a student pursuing a degree in nursing. 
And this award goes to Alexis Reed. And then I'll read off the next uh, two scholarships. This uh, next one is the Diane H. Lewis Scholarship. Uh, this is for the PTHS Band Boosters. Uh, this scholarship goes to two students, uh, Diane Ionescu yeah. and Madeline McGreevy. Uh, and then while we're here, just hold tight there, uh, the Schweitzer Engineering Scholarship uh, is given to, uh, it's from the Schweitzer Engineering Firm, uh, and they give it to a student who's pursuing a degree in engineering, and congratulations to Joshua Kelleher. And I'm gonna call to the stage while they're taking the photos for the India Simeon Memorial Scholarship. Good evening, everybody. What a wonderful night. You guys are doing awesome, seniors. I'm so proud of you. Woo! We are here from WWU, which is Working Women United, based right here in Pemberton. We started the India Simeon Scholarship Program because India was our baby, and anybody that know her knows that her name needs to live on. This is our fifth year, and we're gonna make sure her name live on. India was a student here at Pemberton Township High School, and she was a medical arts student, and she loved medical arts, and she used to always see me and say, oh, Ellen, I'm going, to, I'm going to college. We couldn't get my baby there, but we're going to get one of you there. So tonight, we would like to honor three students that are students of the medical arts program. We love all of them. We know all of them. We've been in this district for a long time. And we love to see our kids succeed. Um, the first one we would like to call up is Kayla Panky. It's my baby. <laughs> Kayla, your essay was phenomenal. Your, your drive to want to be a, a psychiatrist and help people, minorities, face mental illness. You know we don't like to go to doctors, so that's a good thing, girlfriend, to make sure that we are, we are definitely getting our head right, right? Good job, Kayla. Our next person that we love so much and we're so happy to give the scholarship to is Kiera Bernard. Woo! That's our cue. We love her. She's cheerleader of the year. Woo! And today we're here to cheer you on, Q. Thank you, baby. Here you go. And, yes. <laughs> and our next recipient is Antonella Diaz Madrid. Woo! Your essay was great, and we hope that you pursue your career in medical arts, and we hope that India name lived on through you guys. Thank you. All right. Woo! Let me just put this there.
All right, thank you. Thank you again. All right, the next three scholarship recipients or uh, awards I'm going to call out now. So the, uh, this, this one scholarship is the Vince Finan Memorial Scholarship. The Finan family offers this scholarship in memory of Vince Finan uh, to a deserving student uh, who plans to pursue a degree in education. Uh, so this award, the scholarship goes to uh, Diane Ionescu. and Edgar Zarilla. Yep, I got two more. Uh, the next two is for a Kurt Von Hohen uh, 2010 College Scholarship. Um, this goes to Alicia Tannehill. And the Carl Vernon Hohen uh, Trade Scholarship goes to Damian Brown. All right, the next uh, scholarship, I'm gonna ask uh, the representatives for the Kayla Estrella Bowen Memorial Scholarship to please come up to the stage. Can you guys please join me in a moment of silence for my sister, Kayla Bowen? Thank you. Thank you to the administrative staff of Pemberton High School for allowing us the opportunity to, to present this scholarship on behalf of our beloved Kayla Bowen. We wish we were presenting this scholarship under better circumstances, but we are glad that we're able to do this in Kayla's name, nonetheless. It's never easy selecting a scholarship winner because there are so many young people with outstanding qualities and academic achievements that apply for scholarships. But in this case, it was a no-brainer. Alexis Reed, the winner of the Kayla Bowen Scholarship, is an excellent student in every way. She is an outstanding student academically she has been resilient in the face of challenges in her life. Alexis is clear about her career and future goals to attend Monmouth University to study nursing on the road to becoming a registered nurse. Her personality interests reflect a well-rounded young lady who enjoys soccer and community service, among other interests. Alexis lives up to the personal and academic qualities that Kayla held dear and near to her heart. Kayla was too an avid soccer player and was at a point in her life where she was clear about pursuing a career in the health field. Give me one second. Like Alexis, Kayla had too many challenges in her life but never gave up. She was determined to move forward and was on track to becoming a successful, self-sufficient young woman. 
Alexis and Kayla are kindred spirits in so many ways. And we are pleased to present the Kayla Bowen Memorial Scholarship to Alexis Reed. Congratulations. At this time, I'm asking for a representative from the Mitchell T. Lucas Memorial Scholarship to the stage. Good evening. My name is Dylan Lucas. I'm here to announce the 2022 Mitchell T. Lucas Memorial Scholarship named after my father. This award is given to a student athlete who best embodies the passion and competitive nature of Pemberton High School Athletics. It is our, uh, my pleasure and our family's pleasure to announce the 2022 recipient to Mr. Cameron Downs. Congratulations. I know I remember Mr. Lucas very fondly from my time at the middle school and that smile that you have right there reminds me of Mr. Lucas's smile. At this time, I'm gonna ask a representative from the Adelino O. Delgado Memorial Scholarship to come up to the stage. Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Campbell. Um, I did come from the middle school, so I had a pleasure of having these young, wonderful young children now going up to be young adults. Being strange in middle school, weird creatures, but I'm so happy. I've came, yes, you guys, we're weird in middle school, you can't lie. I, I got so many black male stories, it isn't even funny. But having the pleasure of seeing you guys coming from seventh grade and eighth grade and now seniors, I couldn't be even prouder of removing that transition to seeing you guys and finish out your senior year. Um, I am represented on behalf of my family, the Delgado family. Mr. Delgado and his wife Lydia immigrated from the Philippines in the United States in 1958. As a U.S. Army soldier, Mr. Delgado served honorably with distinction for 23 years. He completed two tours in Korea, two tours in Vietnam, and one tour in Germany. Both Mr. and Mrs. Delgado, Delgado are, surviving, um, are survivors of World War II as well. The, full, the four Delgado children, Liberty, Steve, Rachel, and Karen, all gra graduated from PTHS. They are actively involved in accomplishing in athletics, cheerleading, student government, and the National Honor Society. They have all since obtained advanced degrees. Two children are doctors. The Delgado children attribute success to strength, hard work, and resilience of their parents. Mrs. Delgado established the Adelino Delgado Memorial Scholarship in 2018 in honor of her late husband and his legacy. The scholarships are a form of two $2,500 scholarships awarded to two minority student scholar athletes, one girl, one boy. Their scholarship criteria include sports, academic achievement, leadership, community activities, and college and career aspirations. On behalf of the Delgado family, it is my honor to present the Adelino Delgado Memorial Scholarship to the following two seniors. Ethanella Diaz Madrid and Liam Phillips. <laughs> Antonella was a varsity field hockey for three years, top 10% of the 2022 PTHS graduating class due to cancel, council, future business leaders of America, and is attending Seton Hall, majoring in biology on a pre-med track. 
Liam Phillips, captain of boys varsity tennis, ranks third at the top of the class of 2022. Uh, PTHS, Interact Club, Habitat of Humanity, works part-time during his senior year, and plans to become a civil engineer for C City of Philadelphia to provide people with safer, better, and healthier transportation systems. All right, congratulations. At this time, I'm gonna ask representative uh, for the Russell Shamilia Scholarship uh, uh, and the Write Your Own History Scholarship to please come up to uh, the stage. Hi guys. I'm gonna try not to cry, that's my goal. <laughs> Um, the first scholarship is in memory of my grandfather, who was obsessed with cars, and um, we wanted to do something to have that legacy live on. So the recipient of that scholarship is going to be Aisha McLean. He's going to Mercer County College to pursue engineering science to pursue automatic, oh, I'm sorry, automotive um, science. Um, the scholarship is worth $750. Just wait. Um, <laughs> the next one's in memory of my mom, who worked in Pemberton Township School District and actually got to meet this group of kids because I had them in se seventh and eighth grade, so it's very near and dear to my heart. Um, the young lady that I picked knew my mom. <laughs> Um, she, all she wanted to do was make carrot cake with my mom. Um, this woman has overcome so many things already in her young life. I'm excited um, for her to pursue her career in nursing at Monmouth University this fall. Alexis Reed, you got a thousand dollar scholarship. All right, uh, the, the next group of scholarships, and again, I'm going to call them up. They'll come up to the stage uh, and wait for their photo. Uh, the Tamara uh, Strong Scholarship goes to uh, two students who are considered student athletes that have shown a commitment to their community. So I'm going to call to the stage Antonella Diaz Madrid and Liam Phillips for the Tamara Strong Scholarship. Uh, the Coach Heck Athletic Scholarship goes to uh, a student who shows outstanding sportsmanship on the sports field or court. Congratulations to Cameron Downs. The Denbo PTO Scholarship um, goes to Alicio Carranco. The Crichton PTO Scholarship goes to Madison Lacey. And then finally, the Browns Mills Improvement Association Scholarship goes to Madeline McGreevy.
And guys, while they're taking the photos, I just want to be everybody to understand when the scholarships, uh, those scholarships are not just given, right? They have to fill out the application. They, they, they make application for it. So when you hear a student name called uh, more than once, that means they applied for multiple scholarships and earned those multiple scholarships. So again, also, I know I'm looking at the time, but I want to be, uh, I want to respect all the students in their scholarships, and I don't want to kind of rush things. So at this point, I want to uh, bring up to the stage uh, representatives for the Presidential Lake Civics Association uh, scholarships. There's, there's three in total, I believe. Come on up. And the VFW scholarship as well. Good evening. Congratulations to all our graduating students. Congratulations to the parents and guardians who helped them along their journey. Thank you to the teachers, the guidance counselors, and administrators who worked hard to provide a learning environment which they could thrive. Presidential Lake Civic Association offers three scholarships founded on those who helped build and shape our community. Thus our motto, a better community through involvement. These scholarships are funded by community activities along with public and private donations from the community. <coughs> Our first scholarship is the Stephanie Marie Trotter Memorial Scholarship. Stephanie was a wonderful representation of our motto, a better community through involvement. She could always be found volunteering within the community, bringing food to the food banks, helping to feed the homeless, and working with Habitat for Humanity. Stephanie worked with children that were diagnosed with autism. She taught them creativity to help them express themselves. The Vedon Trotter family has chosen Michael Newells as the recipient. His academic grades and his community efforts speak volumes about his potential future. Michael will continue his studies in engineering. His goal is to find new solutions to existing problems. On behalf of the Vadon family, I'm honored to present the scholarship to such a deserving individual. Congratulations, Michael, and congratulations to the other students recognized here this evening. Uh, I forgot to introduce, this is our president, Linda Vadon. This is with Michael. Our next scholarship is the John C. Ulrich Scholarship uh, in the amount of $1,500. Bear with me, I'm not a very good public speaker. First, on behalf of my entire family, we'd like to thank the President Lake's Civic Association for honoring our father in this manner. John Ulrich was an incredible person that loved his family deeply and always took the time to give back to his community. He knew what was important in life and he was a firm believer in helping the people around him grow and prosper. John knew the education was the key to unlocking the doors to our future. Without, he knew that no one was going to give us the key to success for nothing. Dad pushed all his girls and their friends to reach for their dreams and never give up. He taught all of us to work hard and get our hands dirty, to communicate well with others, ha have accountability for your actions, and always be honest. He did that with every project he was involved with in our community. He would spend hours with children, helping them file for scholarship applications and to acquire financial aid assistance in order to reach their dreams. His many years on the school board were dedicated to making sure every child had the opportunity and the education they deserve. I know that my dad 
would be proud this evening to give this scholarship to Madison Lacey. This award, award for you to continue your studies in the field of education. He would say to you, go out there kiddo, give them your all, keep your head up, your eyes on the books, and work hard and have fun doing it. From my mother and my sisters, I thank you all in honoring my father tonight. Good luck in your, to all the seniors after graduation. He would also be very proud of you all. Thank you. Our th third scholarship is in m memory of Roger William, F yeah, William Roger Fadum. Um, Mr. Joseph will present that award. Uh, congratulations to um, Amber Deck for winning the Dr. William Roger Fadum Memorial Scholarship. I also want to mention that the William Roger Fatum Culinary Scholarship is $500. Uh, we've secured matching funds from Vito Russo, Ricardo's Restaurant, for an additional $500. Yeah. <clears throat> On behalf of the VFW Post 6590, uh, the Lupinetti family was ill tonight, they couldn't be here, so they asked me to present the award for them. Um, Alexander Walter Anthony Luminetti was known as Butch to his friends. He grew up on a farm in Pemberton Township. He learned his work ethics at an early age by milking cows, picking fruits and vegetables. In their small farmhouse kitchen, prepared meals were always mouthwatering and delicious a true farm-to-table experience. Butch was also a star football player at Rancocas Valley High School, but due to a knee injury, he had to turn down a college scholarship. Butch decided to pursue his love of music by trying to become a rock star. He toured the area with two popular local bands who recorded several records. During that time, he supported his family by working as a barber. When stardom eluded Butch, he decided to buy a tavern in Pemberton, New Jersey. He was the owner of Butch's place for 25 years, and after that, he bought Alexander's Sunset View Inn in Browns Mills. During all of his various careers, Butch always ran a successful catering operation. His claim to fame was his pig roasts. Someone suggested that he should compete in barbecue competition Butch went to check out the competition and came home with the commercial smoker. He took to the road and quickly started winning competition awards for his food. He won so many trophies, his family told him to stop bringing them home. He had massed over 600 champion and grand champion awards. The highlight of Butch's career was when he won the Food Network barbecue throwdown against Bobby Flay. Whatever Butch set out to do, he gave it his all. After his untimely passing, the family knew the greatest memorial they could offer in his name had to be food-related. Thus, the scholarship was created. The recipient of the Leonard Sexton VFW Post 6590 Culinary Scholarship is Talia Thurman. <laughs> <clears throat> We are sure Telly will mirror his values. She has a dream, she has family values, and she isn't afraid to work hard. She knows that the goal of owning her own bakery will be reached in small steps. She realizes that creating a culinary meal is a temporary art form. 
It looks beautiful, but ultimately it must be eaten to be appreciated. However, the appeal is in the presentation before the taste. Our hope is that Telly reaches her dreams with the help of the scholarship. Thank you from the Butch Lupinetti family. This time I'm going to ask the representatives for the JP Elite Outreach Scholarship to come up to the stage. Again, congratulations, Talia. You're good this way, it's up to you, thank you. Good evening. Hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. All right, so this year, um, for all of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Jasmine Poole. I am the girls basketball coach here at Permanent High School. But not just that, I actually have a nonprofit organization called JP Elite Enterprise, where I work with youth and um, families in Pemberton Township to create opportunities through fitness and health and wellness along with education and empowerment. Um, so with that, I wanted to give our third year um, scholarship. I couldn't choose, so it was very difficult for me. So I selected four people, three people um, for that. And a little bit about JP Elite. Um, we focus on youth outreach, development, empowerment, and um, family and health, health and wellness. Um, here in Pemberton Township, oftentimes kids and families tend to not have anywhere to go as an outlet for them, to stay out of trouble, to be productive if you're not an athlete or if you don't have a passion for something that's offered after school. So this scholarship, um, the students that I've selected for this, they basically um, explained how important it would have been and how impactful it would have been for them to have a rec center in Pemberton Township or an outlet for them to do homework, to study, to work on their craft, and not just in an athletic realm, but in STEM, in career um, focused projects. So with that, this scholarship is uh, presented to the following students because they really um, move me with this, uh, with, their, with their reasons on how that would have changed their, their life here. Um, Catherine Poinsett. Morgan Knight. And um, I've been coaching this guy since he was about seven years old. And I started coaching at 17 as a senior in high school. That's when I started this. But I didn't quite know what I was doing. But um, this kid, I was coaching when I was 17. And now he's 17 or 18. And it's amazing because I didn't even know what I was doing. But <laughs> it's amazing. Um, to call this person's name as well, along with these, these great students, Cameron Downs. He was like this big. All right, now, 
this lovely lady I have standing beside me is my mother. And um, just this year, um, my grandmother passed away, Eleanor Poole. So um, with that, because she was such an influence on my life, and um, through her stories and words of wisdom that she passed down to me, I just thought it would be only necessary and only right to have a scholarship in honor of her. Um, just a little bit about her. She was a TikTok famous old lady that rode around on her scooter in grocery stores and got in trouble a lot for running kids' feet over. It's a little bit. A church-going woman that loved the Lord um, and that taught me that stay true to yourself, stick to um, your dreams, never give up on your community, and to um, educate yourself and to rise above any adversity. Um, with that, I want to just um, bring this student up, a student who um, expressed their interest in being a theater um, arts major eventually um, at their next um, college or university. So this student is Kyla Thomas. And um, because my grandmother was not able to attend a university or a college, um, I wanted to just make this actually a little bit more possible for somebody else because um, I believe that um, being the person that you needed is really like what can make a lot of change in a community. So I tend to continue to do that. And I just hope and pray that you, you know, this helps you. And um, I know that my grandmother would be very proud. Again, congratulations. All right, so I'm going to call off a, a, a several scholarships here. Um, so the next set of scholarships is the WISE scholarship, the Women in STEM Education. Uh, the three students who have received this scholarship for going into the STEM field or in education, uh, we have Madison Lacey. We have Eliza Pepito, and we have Catherine Poinsett. Madison, congratulations. I'm gonna call off uh, the, the, the last two of the uh, uh, formal scholarships, and then we have our senior awards that actually also come with money as well. So um, the Hilltop Mobile Village Community Encouragement Scholarship goes to a student pursuing a degree in business. Congratulations to Imani Berger. And then we have uh, the Pamela Chastain the Literacy Scholarship, uh, and this scholarship goes to Madeline McGreevy. All right, so that's, so we have, I'm sorry, we have one more official scholarship. I thought that was the last of the scholarships, but do we have a, a member for the Fame Academy here? No, nope. all right. So the last, last scholarship, Fame Academy scholarship, and then we'll, we'll jump right into our uh, senior awards. Again, I said that, that comes with uh, monetary awards as well. Uh, but this award, the Fame Academy scholarship, goes to a recipient uh, who has been in the Fame Academy all four years. Uh, focus in both the vocal and instrumental music track. 
uh, well-rounded fame student, choraliers, women's ensemble, concert choir, marching band, the list goes on and on. She'll be attending Rowan University in the fall, so congratulations for this $1,000 scholarship to Diane Ionescu. All right, so the, the, these, these last awards, last, there's, there's a chunk of awards. These awards were selected by classroom teachers, right? So all the teachers get together. Uh, they identify students who have made an impact in their department over the, uh, the last four years. Um, so we will then call off the names of students. So you'll kind of come up. Uh, the National Honor Society Award goes to Madeline McGreevy. The JROTC Distinguished uh, Student Award goes to Grace Worrell. The Avid Recognition Award goes to Lyric Crawley. Uh, the second Avid Recognition Award goes to Jabari Mangum. The World Language Department Award, well, there's three. Uh, one goes to Zachary Sensky. We also have Catherine Poinsett. And oddly enough, Madeline McGreevy, I got to have you come back and get this award. All right, congratulations. We'll be able to take a quick group picture of this group here. The next batch of awards. Um, goes, so we'll first start with the Student Council Award. Uh, we have a couple, so we have Antonella Diaz Madrid. We have Madeline McGreevy. The Future Business Leaders of Awards, uh, Antonella Diaz Madrid. The Future Business Leaders of America Award. Also, we have Alexis Mayhew, Iris Rivera Morales, the Excellence in Web Page Design Award goes to Jax Schoen. The Excellence in Computer Literacy Award goes to Sh uh, Shazaya Wright. Shazaya Wright. The Medical Arts Academy Award goes to Janaya Stewart and Alyssa Riccardi. At this time, I'm going to call the athletic director to the stage to present the Athlete of the Year awards.
Good evening. I'm Joe McColgan, Athletic Director here at Pemberton High School. Uh, annually, the Pemberton High School Athletic Department honors a top male and female senior student athlete as part of the Senior Awards Program. Both of this year's recipients excelled both inside the athletic arena as well as within the classroom. First, our female Senior Athlete of the Year winner is Anissa Brannon. Anissa was unable to attend tonight's events due to a prior engagement, uh, but just want to highlight a couple of her accomplishments um, during her time here at Pemberton. She was one of our top performers on the girls' tennis program, which, by the way, was the first in school's history to win the division. Uh, she had a 16-1 individual record this, this year, her senior year. Anissa also stood out on the softball field. For her career, she ended with a 446 batting average, had 74 hits and 45 RBIs to go along with a career total 197 strikeouts as a pitcher. And keep in mind, those numbers probably would have been higher had the 2020 season not been wiped away due to COVID. Um, and as, a, as impressive as her athletic accomplishments are, Anissa also stands out academically where she carries a 4.85 weighted GPA and is in the top 5% of the class rank for the class of 2022. Anissa plans to attend Indiana University of Pennsylvania in the fall on a softball scholarship. Now our senior athlete, uh, male athlete of the year winner is Amir Johnson. Yeah. Amir was a three sport athlete for us here at Pemberton playing football, basketball and spring track. Amir was an all conference defense alignment in football where he racked up 55 tackles, one fumble recovery, and one sack. On the basketball court, he scored 119 points this year while grabbing an impressive 147 rebounds and helping the team advance to the second round of the South Jersey playoffs. And he also competed as a thrower for the spring track program. Amir carries a 3.0 GPA, and he will be attending East Coast Preparatory Academy in the fall and be playing football. Congratulations, Amir. All right, guys, the, this next batch of awards, if you, if you notice, Mr. Stark came to the stage. Uh, these awards are for the uh, students either in robotics engineering and or in the STEM program. Uh, be, I know there is a check or envelope connected to all of them, uh, so don't lose it. Um, so at this time, I'm going to first call the Robotics and Engineering Award, and that goes to Leo Yang. The Excellence in Engineering Award goes to James Music. The STEM Academy Award goes to Anthony Beidelman. The, uh, the next STEM Academy Award goes to Flavio Mendez, Cervantes Mendez. We also have the STEM Academy Award to David Israel. I think that's a future STEM. He's a future STEM kid, right? He's a future STEM student. Uh, here you go. You gotta shake your hand. The next STEM Academy Award goes to Joshua Kelleher. The next STEM Academy Award and scholarship goes to Jabari Mangum. The next award for the STEM Academy Award goes to Aisham McLean. Uh, 
I think he's up here already, maybe. The STEM Academy Award, another STEM Academy Award goes to James Music. That's two. Uh, the next STEM Academy Award goes to Michael Knowles. All right, here goes here go my back. The next STEM Academy Award goes to Eliza Papito. Did she get two? Did she get two? Uh, yeah. No, I missed her. Okay. Uh, the next one goes to uh, Grace Worrell. I get that one. So uh, now Yaron Saul, she gets two awards and two envelopes. One is for Excellence in Creative Logistics Award and the STEM Graduate Award. So congratulations to Yaron Saul. And then Leo, it looked like I was trying to keep this last envelope, but your STEM Academy Award, so come back up and grab your uh, STEM Academy Award. That's it. And that's again, congratulations to all of our students who have completed the STEM Academy here at the high school. Again, congratulations. The next batch of awards uh, is going back to uh, the department awards. The science department award, there's two. Uh, one goes to Kiara Bernard. And, and Liam Phillips. The math department award, we picked two students uh, for excellence in math. So we have Anthony Beidelman and Catherine Poinsett. The social studies department award. Uh, we have two. We have Elijah Garland and Liliana Oliveri. Uh, Elijah said he's getting up these stairs for this picture. All right. And the final two uh, awards that we're calling at this point right now, we have the English Department Award, we have Emmanuel Nelson. And we have Catherine Poinsett.
Hello, everyone. I have a special award to give out tonight. <laughs> I'm here representing GSA, uh, and I have a, a student who has earned the spot, for sure, has earned the award. Uh, Jack McCallum <laughs> is our award winner. He has been an integral part of our club since he joined. Um, he has taken on the role as club president and has made a positive impact on the future of our club. We want to congratulate Jack on also graduating from RCBC with his associates this year before he graduates from high school. <laughs> and we also want to shout out that he's graduating a whole year early. So we just want to say thank you. And uh, here you go, Jack. Again, congratulations. While we have Jack up there, Jack, hold tight real quick. I don't know if she mentioned that. I wasn't listening as well. But just so you know, uh, so remember, graduation for us is on June 21st. June 21st. But Jack was able to graduate from RCBC was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? May, right? But, but again, congratulations to Jack. He, he, he graduated from RCBC earning his associates before our high school graduation. So congratulations to Jack for that accomplishment. All right, we got two more batches of awards um, and then we're, we end our ceremony with just recognizing our top 12. Uh, the Arts Department Award, we have two, three students. Uh, we're recognizing Robert Gaskell, James Music, Talia Thurman, The Music Department Award goes to Abigail Helm and Madeline McGreevy. The Graphic Arts Award goes to Madison Lacey. And the TV Video Production Award goes to Morgan Knight. All right, congratulations. All right, the last set of awards um, goes to, so we have, the, we have two culinary awards. Uh, the first one goes to Amber Deck. And we're also recognizing Alexander Costa. The Travel Club Award goes to Cameron Grover. The We Help You Club Outstanding Member Award goes to Abigail Helm. The Outstanding Interact Member Award goes to Madeline McGreevy. And the Outstanding Interact Member Award also goes to Eliza Pepito.
Congratulations again. All right, guys, so as we, as we end the ceremony, we've done this for, um, for the past, I don't know, five, six years now. Uh, we end this ceremony um, just recognizing students who uh, worked really diligently over their, their four years to be named top 12. I know we have a, a top 12 dinner on Monday night with fam their family um, that is hosted by the Rotary Club. So I'm going to call in order from number one to 12. They'll come up, um, again, just to be acknowledged for their achievement. So uh, rank number one in the class right now, we have Leo Yang. Uh, rank number two, we have Yaron Saul. Next up, we have Liam Phillips. Next, we have Michael Newells. Next, we have David Israel. Next, we have Cassandra Glapion. Next, we have Eliza Pepito. Next, we have Lyric Crawley. Next, we have Anthony Beidelman. Next up, we have Abigail Helm. I know Anissa Brandon is un uh, was unable to be here tonight. And then finally, uh, we have Joshua Kelleher. Again, I, I want to be able to recognize uh, the students here, but also recognize all of our students um, for their work throughout their four years. Um, I know we'll be able to celebrate one last time outside. Maybe it's a little bit cooler uh, on a shorter night, June 21st. Again, uh, let's give them a hand of applause as well as all of our students and their recipients. I would just finally say this concludes our 56th uh, annual Senior Awards Night, honoring our distinguished students of the class of 2022. Thank you all for attending. Uh, once again, congratulations to all of you. Um, again, we'd like to thank all of the students, family, and friends that are here with us tonight. So again, thank you again.